All right. Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to talk today about Ben Hogan's lower body work. I believe that this is probably um, the most important work that Ben Hogan did. It's what he, he specifically talked about with people that he uh, was very close to. There's a lot of talk about Ben Hogan's secret and Ben Hogan revealed that this was his true secret to Jody Vasquez. Jody Vasquez was nice enough to work on this with me and explain to me what Mr. Hogan told to him. Um, and there's a couple of things that uh, are very important that are worth speaking about. One of the things that I find very interesting uh, in Mr. Hogan's swing is he has a unique spiraling of his pant leg uh, that we often see when he's wearing these uh, pleated pants and what have you, that the spirals tend to go up around the leg because of the way he's specifically using his right leg. So what we're going to speak about today specifically is his right knee drive and his right knee bend. Okay, so let's first off address Mr. Hogan's right knee bend. A lot of people are under the impression that Mr. Hogan's right leg straightened as he made his back swing. Uh, this is a, a really good topic. I asked Greg McHatton about this, and Greg McHatton, who's done 3D modeling of Mr. Hogan's joints, believes the right leg did straighten. I am under the impression that it might have straightened a little bit with a driver. It certainly never got locked out, but Jody Vasquez stressed to me that Mr. Hogan wanted to maintain the bend in his right leg. So if we look at this picture right here, we can see that Mr. Hogan's uh, knees have a little bit of bend in them. We can see here's the front of his knee. Obviously, there's a line back here and there's a little bit of a line here. Now, these swings in 1948 before the accident are very important because Mr. Hogan, in a lot of his uh, post-accident swings that we see him on the golf course, his legs are bound with bandages and uh, that gives his thighs and legs a bulkier look under these baggy uh, pants that were in fashion at the time. But here we can see Mr. Hogan's legs pretty well. So as we look at this swing here, there's so much to talk about with Mr. Hogan's swing, but I think we can see here as his hips begin to open up that he is still maintaining a healthy amount of bend in that right knee. And I think as we go to the top here and his right hip gains a lot of depth, this is what I'm working on very hard right now. This is the, the top of his swing. His right hip has six inches of depth maybe. There's quite a bit. And there's plenty of knee flex in that right leg. Uh, I believe he tried to maintain the same amount of flex that he had as a dress as he pivoted around that right leg as if it was a post. And as we see him come into the ball, the knees are square. And at the point that the knees become square, Mr. Hogan would then drive his right knee at the ball. This is referred to as running at the ball. Um, now, the thing that I believe is initially I was trying to swing my right knee in at the ball with the inside part of the knee, but I, I feel Mr. Hogan turned the hip over and got the knee cap going at the ball or towards the target, which caused his hips to open incredibly. Um, Mr. Hogan said that he wanted to feel like his entire body was facing the target when he made contact. And look at how quickly he goes from square to completely open. I mean, his left shoulder is open, his left hip is open. It's just unbelievable. And notice how that right heel comes up, but he's rolling his ankle in towards the target and that knee is going at the target. I've always had a difficult problem getting my footwork right because my right heel would pop off the ground 
uh, and and it just it wasn't working the same way. But this is this is very very specific work here. In this next shot, we can see Mr. Hogan once again with plenty of hip flex and knee depth. I say that it's like a pitcher going off the mound as he gets off that right leg into the left side. Once again, right here, knees are pretty square, and then you're going to actively see that right knee go at the target and just clears just like crazy. And uh, as my teacher Greg McCatton famously says, latest is greatest. This is such a late hit. I mean, everything is through the ball, and then the last thing that whips through is the club head. Now, uh, in the Hogan Code, I talk about the squeeze pivot. I think we can see it a little bit here. Uh, you can watch that his legs seem to have plenty of daylight between them, but in an instant, those thighs pull together as he's pulled up onto his tall left side. So the knees are driving towards the target, the right knee explodes into the ball, and then we see adduction between the thighs. Very interesting. Now this is just a fun swing. He's just going after it. Mr. Hogan famously said, the secret is easy to see if you know where to look. So if you look at that right knee, you can see that he is blasting that through the ball. And this is what I did with the Jody Vasquez that was so fun. He showed me some swings and once you start to really look at it, you can see it. He has this kind of like, I call it the, the waterfall. He kind of like falls left into the ball. But watch this right knee. These two frames right here. His knee is out over the toes, and in a flash, that right knee probably goes in six inches. And there we see the leg is rolled over and the wrinkles in the pant leg. This is the best golf swing that anyone's ever had in the world. Here it is again. There's plenty of right knee bend. We can see it. And there that knee gets turned over. Look at there. My right leg tends to straighten. That's another thing I have to change. I'm really determined to do that this time around because uh, I kind of get to start from scratch, tabula rosa, with my golf swing. And uh, that's what I'm going to be working on. Such beautiful extension. My goodness. Okay, now here's a tournament. Uh, these are always great because this is uh, fun to see Mr. Hogan swing under control and with power. Some of his swings, he's just going, going at it long drive style. And we'll look at a couple of those in a minute. But here he needs to control himself. So here we are in the squat. And then we see the magic turnover of the knee. You can see the kneecap right here begin to pull on the clothing uh, in his pant leg. I always notice this line right here from his kneecap pulling his trousers around his leg. I think that's very, very important. Here, Mr. Hogan goes through the ball. Very nice. Now, this is uh, one of his long drive swings that I talk about. And one of the ways we can, uh, that I believe we can tell that this is a long drive swing is, A, how far he moves off the ball, and B, how far he gets through the ball because uh, he, he has a tendency to need to adjust his feet after a, a powerful swing like this. He's almost always in total balance. He's still in great balance compared to most golfers, but he doesn't have that super rock solid finish uh, in this swing. We can kind of see it there uh, at the very end. 
how that right foot has to slide up. <laughs> and in the next swing, obviously, we'll see it as well. But we can see right here that Mr. Hogan's feet are extra wide. Uh, the guys back in the day believed that a wide stance gave you more power. And we see his head go off the ball a great deal as he winds into that right side. But once again, I believe he is maintaining some bend in that right knee. And this is, this is the interesting move right here. Uh, as we see him fall, uh, his left hip against that line in the background. This, this was really brilliant. Uh, you know, the way they did this back in the day to kind of really see what's happening. So his left hip falls towards the target quite a bit before he turns that right leg down and into the ball. You know, a lot of people joke, Mr. Hogan didn't have a secret. His only secret was he hit a million golf balls a day, this, that, and the other thing. But even though uh, these tournaments didn't have the depth of talent that they have today, these guys were playing for, for their living. And if they were going to make a living, they had to, you know, have a leg up on their competitors. So I believe very strongly that these guys maintained that they had different secrets and things like that that you don't want to just reveal. Like Hogan told uh, Ken Venturi that, you know, why are you helping that guy and telling him everything that I've taught you? You know, like you don't want to do that. He's your competitor. So here's another one of these uh, power golf swings where I think he's really going to go for distance here. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure he's got a little ego, so I'm sure that once in a while he'd want to really rip it. And we can see here in this swing, his heel comes up earlier than it ever does uh, in general. So his right heel is up off the ground. He's squishing the bug. That's an old baseball term for, uh, you know, that turning of the right foot down and into the dirt. And we see that knee going forward. You can see the the knee start to pull on the cloth of that pant leg here. And there you see it, man. It's like he's going to hit that thing with his with his knee like a, like a Thai knee strike, like in Muay Thai kickboxing. Those hips are completely turned around, turned open with that knee going down. And I also love, just as an aside, this right elbow so under man and then he rolls his hands over you know he he fully released the club he believed that the rotation in the hands and arms gave him an extra gear you know it took me a while to to get that worked in but it's uh, certainly something to talk about here we see a shot where we can really look at his legs um, this shot here, again, I think we can see the bulkiness in his, in his legs because they're most likely wrapped. I think there's clearly right knee bend. And as he comes into the ball, we see his right knee. Look at that right there. And there you see the pull on his pant leg where you get those funky wrinkles. Look at that. That is the hallmark of the great Hogan, Hogan swing with that right knee action. And here's some of the best uh, that we're going to get to see of Mr. Hogan, these still shots. I love how low he gets in this swing here. So here I want to point out the left knee moves towards the target. Here we have the squat, both knees bent, and then that right knee is going to turn down and over through the ball. Here we can see a tremendous angle as well. This angle here is an important angle to think about. You can see it with Trevino and many of these great ball strikers. I like how we see the back of the left hand here, clearly a palm grip, and then we can see the wrinkles in his pant leg. 
just fascinating how he used his lower body and it was so effective it's it's really really incredible but uh this is this is where i'm really focused on um as jody vasquez told me he said that when mr hogan was looking at a swing he he was just concerned with the lower body that's where he was looking you know the hands and arms they create so many different looks with the angle of the club head and everything else. Um, it makes golf swings look so unique, the way the hands and arms manipulate the club itself. But what is pulling the shoulders and the arms and hands around is the lower body in the classic swing. And as a lower core type of swinger, um, that's what I'm aspiring to do. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I use to become the golfer I always wanted to be.